Next up, Otis B. What Otis B. Weakness in Otis unit weighs on company. Otis, Otis, what's wrong? Otis elevators and escalators is what I'm talking about. They're a part of United Technologies. Sales are down in 2014. Uh, no, I'm sorry, sales are down in 2015. In 2014, profits were 2.6 billion. They announced at United Technologies at a shareholder meeting that they anticipated the profit would be 300, 350 million lower than expected. That's a huge hit. What's driving this hit? Back to China. The demand for elevators and escalators are down as the big build out of Chinese infrastructure putters out. Not much you can do about that. Is this a pricing problem? Nope, not a pricing problem. Unfortunately, this is a demand problem, and it's the demand of derived product. You don't need an elevator unless you're building a building. If you're not building a building, you're not going to buy an elevator. If you lower the price of a derived demand product when the primary demand is down, you won't do anything. It's not like you're going to stimulate sales of the primary product by lowering the price of derived demand products. So leave pricing alone, please. United Technologies, let Otis be what Otis be. If there's not a demand, there's not a demand. This means sell competitively, strongly against your firm, manage that value proposition against your competitors, but it does not say that if I lower price, I will automatically stimulate demand and make more money, especially in derived demand products. You don't need an elevator if you're not building a building. You're not going to stimulate the building of buildings by lowering the price of your elevator. So compete for the existing stock of buildings being built and manage your prices accordingly to your competitors in those markets.